So in our final video on ray diagrams, we're going to look at lenses. Uh, and obviously this is particularly pertinent to when you're studying the eye in biology as well. So first of all, we're going to start off with a convex um, lens. And convex lens are curved outwards. Just to give you a comparison, in a minute I'm going to use a concave lens. The way to remember it is very simple. Concave goes in, just like a cave. Okay, so we have a convex lens, uh, and I'm going to do this one at the top, one at the bottom. So I'm using two lenses here to just magnify the effect so that it's very clear. Uh, and you can do this with a single lens, um, but I'm just going to use two back to back to increase the power. Uh, and as most of our ray diagrams, I'm going to start just by drawing around my lenses, like so. Okay, now. For this experiment, we're going to use the three slits because we want to see how each path of light is different on our ray box. So I'm going to fire my ray of in, uh, ray rays of light in, and see what happens. Um, so so you can see here we have our three big rays of light, which I'm going to indicate and mark on where they each path travels and in the e equally where they hit the glass block and then where they come out and mark each point on and you can see what happens here they reach a point where they converge there's a point here where they cross over so I'm going to move my lenses and my uh, ray box for a second so we have one, two, three. So we have our three incident rays. And then on the other side, it's going to pass one, two, and three. little bit dodgy. Uh, let's just do that again. So they should all cross at the same point. Right? Sorry for my mistake there. Um, so they all cross over at this point here, which I'm just going to put a big fat circle on so you can sort of see. Um, apologies for my mistake. So with a, and obviously between here, they just travel straight through the lens. So we just join them up. There's obviously a refraction taking place here, which is what causes uh, the lens to focus the light. So in terms of a few labels on here, so on our actual lens, we have uh, the semi-major axis of the lens. Okay, This line here, where this intercentral ray goes, follows what we call the principal axis, which is the central, uh, uh, where the central line would, would, would travel. Um, what I'm interested in is this po point over here. The distance to that point is called the focal length. And that point itself is called the focal point. Now, in your eyeball, that focal point has to be on the back of your retina. If it isn't, then that means that light won't actually be focused when it forms an image on the back of your eye. And that will cause you problems. Um, so each of these rays of light is acting convergently because it's reaching a central fixed point. Um, there are other labels that you should be aware of uh, if you're doing um, triple physics, uh, but I'm just going to leave it at that for the time being. Um, and for our second lens, uh, which we study less frequently, but the concave lens, so I have my three rays of light, and this time I'm going to put my concave lens, and you can see very quickly how the result is different. So for my concave lens, which again I'm very quickly going to draw around, we have our rays of light coming in, our rays of light coming out where they meet the surface. So let me just join up the uh, actual edges of the lens. And so in this particular case, for a concave lens, you can see that the rays of light spread out. They deviate, right? Or they diverge. Um, so when they hit the, the effect of the lens is a concave lens, is quite often called a divergent lens as opposed to a convergent lens. And if you extend these rays back,
you will see that they do cross at a point and this is now the focal point and you can see that the focal point is actually not in front of the lens it's behind the lens so the focal point here forms what we would call a virtual image as opposed to the focal point here which forms a real image so you only need to know that if you're doing triple physics and you're looking at the differences between convex and concave lenses